A, B, and C are positive integers. A squared plus B squared plus C squared equals 1,000. To find the sum of A, B, and C, without loss of generality, let's assume A is greater than or equals B, and B is greater than or equal to C. Since the sum 1,000 is an even number, so among A, B, and C, there's only two possibilities. One is two of them are odd and one even, or all of them are even. So let's consider the first case. Two odd, one even. So let's assume A equals 2m plus 1, b equals 2n plus 1, c equals 2k is an even number. Then we calculate the sum. a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Plug in. a equals 2n plus 1, so we get 4m squared plus 4m plus 1 plus b squared, so we get 4n squared plus 4n plus 1, and then 2k squared, so we get 4k squared. We can correct those terms containing 4, so we get 4 times m squared, so we cancel that, and then plus 4m, so m, so cancel that, and then 4n squared, so I put n squared, 4n, so we get n, and then k squared, so, and then we still have 1 and 1, so plus 2. So you can see 4 is not a factor of the sum. So I'll write this way, so a squared plus b squared plus c squared, but 4 is a factor of 1,000, so we get contradiction, right? So let's look at the second case. All are even. So in this case, let's assume A equals 2M, B equals 2M, C equals 2k. So then we plug into the given equation. So we get 4m squared plus 4n squared plus 4k squared equals 1000. So both sides divided by 4. So we get m squared plus n squared plus k squared equals 250. That is an important equation, so we denote that as star. Then we reduce the given equation to a simpler equation. Now let's estimate the value of m. We know m is the largest number among m and k, right? So because 3m squared equals m squared plus m squared plus m squared. So greater than or equal to m squared plus n squared plus k squared, which is 250. So we get, so you see 3m squared greater than or equal to 10, 250. So m squared greater than or equal to 250 over 3. We can, this one's greater than 243 over 3, which is 81. So you see, take square root for both sides, so we get m greater than 9. But m is an integer, so m is greater than or equals equals 10. On the other hand, m squared is less than m squared plus n squared plus k squared, right? It is 10, 250. This one less than 256. 
x squared for, for both sides, so we get m less than 16. That means the range for m would be m is greater than or equal to 10, but less than or equal to 15. Now, let's case by case consider star. So case one, m equals 15. You plug in m equals 15, we get 225. So I mean by star, we get n squared plus k squared equals 250 minus 225, so equals 25. So you see, we know the well-known uh, Pythagorean triple, n equals 4, k equals 3. So in this case, we get the sum a plus b plus c equals double m plus n plus k. So plug in. So 16 plus 4, 19 plus 3, 22. So 2 times 22. So we get the first solution, 44. Now you can try m equals 14. Then similarly, we get using star, we get n squared plus k squared equals 250 minus 149, uh, 196, yeah. So the difference becomes 54. So you can see there's no integer solution. Similarly, m equals 13, also no, yeah, so get n squared plus k squared equals 81. Similarly, no integer solution. But when m equals 12, we have, okay, let's see. So from star, we get n squared plus k squared equals 250 minus 144. So we get uh, 106. So you see, n equals 9, k equals 5 is a solution, right? So then we get a squared, oh no, no, not a squared. So we get a plus b plus c equals double m plus n plus k. So again, so 12 plus 9, 21, 26. So 2 times 26. So we get 52. Similarly, you can consider when m equals 11 and m equals 10, there's no integer solution. That means for the given question, we have two solutions. One is 44, one is 52.